if you had to, like, if someone said, what is your DJ style? I'm, I'm very eclectic, but, like, I mean, I come from, you know, Brooklyn block parties. That's mm-hmm. where, you know, so being a block party DJ, almost being, like, commercial in a sense, because that's, you know, people at block parties want to hear commercial music. But come from the disco era, went into the house music, freestyle, I gave it a freestyle. Well, it was freestyle before house. Um, my style is, it's it's techno and breaks. I mean, you know, sometimes fused together in, in a different way. What we were trying to do is take last Saturday night and turn it into next Saturday night. We're, you know, so like my favorite records that I ever made are made completely from other records without using keyboards or anything. Just all samples. Sample. But uh, it's a licensing nightmare. <laughs> I got I got this off your uh, your YouTube the other day. This is your uh, 2021 redo of yeah. Let the Music Play. Yeah, yeah, it's one of them. Yes, yeah, yeah I've done a few of them. Actually. Yeah, this so, one's cool. So. so this is like nice freestyle. Yeah. So like, what's interesting about this is like, so Shannon did Let the Music Play in '83. Chris Barbosa was the producer, and um, sometime in, like I I ran with Omar Santana when we were teenagers. We were real young. We were like 15, 16. He was doing edits for like record labels. And I said, yo, we should make the record from scratch because he's doing the last part of the, you know, the edits were the last part of making a record. So he's like, how are we going to do that? I'm like, well, I'll put some lyrics together. We'll find some girls and we'll, you know, we'll put a song together. So the first song we did was Don't Break My Heart by Sapphire. I didn't get credit on the label. I was a ghostwriter on it. But, but that record came out and the chorus, they used Jimmy Tunnell who sings on Shannon's, because the chorus is Jimmy Tunnell, it's not Shannon. All right. Their vocalists couldn't handle the chorus. So they had this guy come in, sounds like a girl when he sings, like, you know, the chorus. And um, Omar used Jimmy Tunnell on Don't Break My Heart. So Chris Barbosa had heard that. That's the producer of Shannon. And he got a little mad. So he came back out a year later with this. His song was Don't Break My Heart. This song was My Heart Gets All The Breaks. So it was Chris Barbosa coming back into the scene after not having a hit for four years. And the Monet record, yeah, that record, My Heart Gets All The Breaks, that was the one you asked me about. By okay. I did a little my own version to it. Kind of like, you know, kind of like a, almost like a diss record where you use the guy I use, now I got to take it back from you. But it was an amazing <laughs> track. Like Chris Barbosa was one of the best freestyle producers. They weren't even calling it freestyle. It was Latin hip hop at that point. Mm. So, you know, I pay homage to everything I liked back in the day. I, I do remixes of these freestyle records. For what reason? I have no idea, but Great, just have fun. You know what I mean? 